We went to Chillum on the outskirts of Canterbury and we're inviting you to join us as we walk around this beautiful English town in the heart of Kent. Come along and join the adventure. So we are back out. We are heading to a little, is it a village? Yes. Little village called Chillum, which is near Canterbury. And we passed this on the way back. Where was we coming back from? Uh, it was between Ashford Outlet and when we were on the way to Perry Woods. Yeah, and Jason saw him, so we really need to come and visit here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little bit of an explore. We're going to have a little bit of an explore. Don't really know what to expect because I've seen absolutely no pictures of it. I know we've driven past it, but I can't really remember. That's why fair. we're going to explore. Yeah, um, but I will quickly add, we are testing a new microphone on this camera today. So hopefully you can hear us great and hopefully it will not cut out and do any glitches at all. So fingers crossed. So we have made it to Chillum Village Car Park and it's always good. It's free and there's no barriers. If you watched our video from yesterday in Dover, we got locked in the car park. No, I don't want to be doing that again. That's not happening again. We are not making the same mistake. I have nothing but people taking the mick out of me at work because of that. Can I just add? <laughs> anyway, it looks like there's a map over there. So we're going to go and have a look at the map and see where we want to go first. What you can hear is like, oh, where we go? What are they, crows? Crows or blackbirds, yeah. Something. Anyway, I'm gonna head that way. There is a cute little picnic bench. I mean, just the one next to the toilets. Don't think I'll eat my lunch there, if I'm honest. That'd be fine. So I don't really know very much about Chillum, but it looks absolutely beautiful from the pictures I've seen. The only thing I do know about Chillum is there is a castle here. We can't go to the castle because it's not open to the public, but I remember seeing it on an episode of Most Haunted because apparently it's ridiculously haunted in there. How cool would it be to go and stay there Ooh, overnight? I'm literally about to say because I want to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the road here was closed and Josh was like, we can't go up there, it's closed. I'm like. Josh, you're a pedestrian. You are not a car. It's a walkway, look. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tea rooms. Got to love a tea rooms. There's a quirky little tea rooms. It it's really cute, isn't it? Oh my god. So These that. old buildings with the black and white fronts. Look at this. Oh, ice cream sundaes. Serving Kentish cream teas. Oh, what are the opening hours? Uh, pizza scones. Oh, open seven days a week all year. That's good. Ooh, that's good to know. Winter also, treat. A big building. Oh, I think, I wonder if that's the entrance to Chillum Castle. Are these guys just chilling out in the village centre. Pilgrim Milestone. Is that stone? I thought it was wooden. It's an oak, oak carving, yeah. It is wooden. But it says down there, Pilgrim Milestone. The parish of Chillum. I was right, this is the entrance to Chillum Castle. It's a very nice castle, it's very big. Look at that. That looks sensational. Love to visit, we'll have to look up and see if you can actually visit. I'm, I'm not, assuming you can. I know you can have events there, but I'm not sure if it's like just open to the public. No. Look at this quaint little hill going down. It's, cute. I mean, it's, it's pretty. Look at this. I mean, it is beautiful. Oh, that's one thing we need to go and see, the church. There's a little pub on the corner here. Look at all the flowers up against the thing. It's absolutely beautiful. It is, it's really cute. Did you notice the church down the back corner? Yes, we're going to go and look at that in a second. We'll have a walk down this way first though. Look at the views over to the Kent Downs there, just sticking up I over the top. There's another little church down there or some sort of something. Let's have a look. There is an ever so slight smell of manure. <laughs> we're in the country now. <laughs> that's when you know you're in the country. Also. Ooh. I feel like I'm really far from home. Like, you are. I this, feel like I'm in the Cotswolds. I feel like, wait, I was gonna say, I feel like we're back on the road trip. Also, that was a school behind us, so not church. Got that wrong. But yeah, you are right. It feels like we're far away. That is a cute house. Very well trimmed bushes there. Just made it to the bottom of the hill. There is a cute little house there. There's also a nice big house up there. I don't think we can go any further this way though, because that way just looks like a country lane right out of the village. And that way around the corner is a country lane and it seems to bend that way. No. So I think we'll probably go back up the so hill. So back to my pet hay. Also, who, name, who names are these things? Elephant house, that's really random. Um, <laughs> okay, back to a hill. 
this is steeper than it looks on the camera. <laughs> it's a lot steeper. Look, you right walk. The, it was alright on the way there. Shows how steep it is just by the way you are walking up it. <laughs> the joys. What a different looking church. Or is that just me? It's amazing. It's not like any church I've ever seen before. No. It's like um it's like a Hollywood movie has yeah. come some to town and they've recreated what they think an English church looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, it's cute. It's just this bit, this bit's completely different. It is, isn't it? Hmm. That clock is huge. It is a very big clock. Just another view of the back of the church. And then this is the big main part we were looking at. Just the back of that. You okay over there? Looks like a castle. I could go, yeah, it does look like a castle. It's got that kind of like vibe going on. Yeah, can't be wrong. Main road's close by because you can hear the main roads. Yep. So the churchyard goes down this slope and where it's under all the trees, it's quite gloomy down there. It's actually really eerie. I wouldn't want to be here after dark. I imagine it'd be a bit like Michael Jackson's thriller. That was like a weird dinosaur. <laughs> so we've come back out of the churchyard. We're walking down this other really quaint little street. Not as steep as School Hill, which really, is good. It's really giving me road trip vibes. It is. I feel like I'm somewhere else completely from Kent. But um, it says the post office is down here. Don't know if it's going to be anything vlog worthy, but... Oh, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Um, yeah, there is a water mill a bit further on, so we'll uh, head that way and uh, let you know if we see anything it's worth like showing miles you. And miles down, but we'll oh, it's not miles and miles. It's all good. This is really pretty, though. There's a different smell down here. It's all the flowers, I think, mm. rather than manure. Oh my God! Look at the post office. As if that's the post office. It's no dinky. Oh, that is so cute. I never thought I'd say that about a post office. It is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Just found another pub. It's called the Woolpack. Isn't that from Emmerdale or something? I don't know. I think so. Oh, I don't Ooh. know. It's got a little seating area going it's on got down quite there. A big seating area going on. Hmm. It's also got a hotel because it's got four stars. Oh really? It's oh. Like oh yeah. Oh, wow. The little bus shelter. <laughs> the phone box. Oh my god. Oh my God, what's so more English than this town, this little a village right now? Like such a tourist. Phone box, dinky little post office, pubs. Oh, my mum wants one of those. Like, oh, this is pretty. <laughs> it's Shepherd name. Oh, yeah. We're just walking down finding the uh, water mill. We've actually found, if you can see it, the Chillum sign. Like, they all depict something different, but this that's the church that we were at, obviously. Yeah. And that looks like a heron. And I'm guessing that's the edge of Chillum Castle. Yeah, and that also looks really good with his light. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I just say that? Oh, look at that tree. I like that tree. Ooh. Not that we're here to see trees, but... What's wrong with trees? So we've been here for about 45 minutes now, and I could literally count the amount of people I've seen on both my hands. And nearly all of those were at the pub. And nearly all of them were at the pub, and that was about four people. I saw one man, and... Oh no, I saw another man with a dog, with their child. The dog doesn't count. No, so... <laughs> Hi, bye. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Have you been a bad boy? We need to cut through here, but apparently yeah. a train is on its way, so we're going to stand, wait for the train. <gasps> Maybe we could wave at the train. Oh, look at us. That sounds exciting. Fun. I don't know what way it's going to come, left or right. Oh, here we go. Wait for it. It's a high speed. Bye. Open sesame. There we go. Look at that. You don't get that every day in a vlog. Look at that. They were going go. too fast. I didn't see if they waved back. <laughs> oh, oh, this bit, these bits really scare me. Train track. Ooh. I feel like we're getting a little bit closer to the water mill. Yeah, because I can hear. I can literally hear the sound. Water? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> so we found the mill which is down there, but we can't actually go down there because it looks like someone lives there. 
I don't know. It says temporarily closed on Google, so I'm assuming you can normally visit it. Maybe it's some sort of hotel because there is some sort of restaurant umbrella in the garden. So maybe. We'll find out, but comment down below and let us know if you know what happens at the mill. Yeah. But you can also, there's like a little wooden bench just sat here where you can sit and watch the water trickle. I was also just reading as well, it's a nature reserve. Oh. It says here... No. no. <laughs> not that one. It's not that one. <laughs> this, this one. one Mid-Kent Water Nature Reserve. Oh yeah. So I was just reading online, it's the Chillum Mill Estate. Um, it's got a 27 acre fishing lake uh, that's got massive carp in it. There's 54 acres with two attached listed cottages and the listed mill itself. And then there is accommodation there. There's a three bedroom cottage with every facility, oh. including a barbecue area, which is probably why we can see that parasol. Interesting. What a lovely place to stay. Isn't it? We should stay there. <laughs> Maybe one day, add it to the list of many things we want to stay at. Absolutely no problems getting out of this car park tonight. Thank God. Josh said, what if they're gonna put boulders across it? I was like, really? <laughs> We'd like to give a massive shout out to all of our patrons and our YouTube members for their continued support of our content. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on our faces in the circle, or you can watch more of our vlogs by clicking on the rectangle. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.